Hi, I'm Renee Caverly, and I live in South Berwick, Maine. I've struggled with my weight since I was uh, about 16 years old. So before the surgery, I tried just about every diet that came along. I did Weight Watchers, the Mediterranean diet, calorie restriction. I literally think I tried a new diet or approach mentally every single day of my life. I was sure that that day was going to be the day that I conquered my weight issues. I was sure that I could do it myself. And after all those years of trying different things, and it wasn't working, that's what led me to have the gastric sleeve. My name is Dr. Bernard J. Benedetto, and I am the Director of Bariatric Surgery here at Portsmouth Regional Hospital. Portsmouth Regional Hospital is the only level one center of excellence for bariatric surgery on the entire seacoast. And what that means is that we adhere to the highest possible standards for the medical and surgical treatment of obesity and its related diseases. I think that weight loss surgery is probably the single largest public health intervention that we can make in the United States today. We know that obesity is a major epidemic in this country over a third of the population struggles with obesity. And we know that because of that, we're looking at life expectancies that may actually be getting shorter for the first time in our history. There's still in our society this implicit idea that because someone's obese, they're lazy, or they shouldn't have surgery because they should just put their mind to it. You know, it frustrates me to no end because we've proven over and over that obesity is a disease. And just like any other disease, there are treatments for it. And the treatment is not shaming. The treatment is a medically based and surgically based treatment program, a weight loss center. Everybody has tried to do everything they can possibly do to not have surgery. And then ultimately they come to a moment in their life where they realize, look, I've got to do something different or I have to just give up and accept that this is how I'll be for the rest of my life. And it's incredibly brave for the patients who show up in my office or show up at the information session and take the risks of surgery, hoping to, to have a better life afterwards. In terms of how the actual procedures are done, I am fellowship trained in minimally invasive and robotic surgery, which means that I do the vast majority of my surgeries uh, via minimally invasive techniques. And that means either laparoscopic or robotic. And the way that we do it here at Portsmouth Regional Hospital is with four or five very small incisions, usually a centimeter or less in size. The operations generally take about 45 minutes to an hour, and the patients are generally uh, discharged within 24 hours of coming into the hospital. I think the biggest change for me now compared to before the surgery is when I'm eating, I am full very quickly, and that's a feeling I've wanted my whole life because that was never really there. I would be monitoring my calories or anything else, but I never had a feeling of fullness. For the first time in my recollection, my stomach and my body were working along with my mind exactly how it should be. Even though you're on a hugely reduced caloric intake, you can just get on with your day and without that constant thought of food in your mind, which is nothing short of a miracle as far as I'm concerned. Essentially what bariatric surgery does is it puts the patient back in control. The patient still puts in the work. They still do the diet. They still do the exercise, but now they're seeing results, whereas before they were just slamming their head against a brick wall. So it's critically important to realize that you have to buy into the entire process. Surgery plus diet plus exercise plus psychological counseling. And if you do those things, you can have amazing long-term success but surgery alone will not be successful. And for that reason, you wanna make sure that you have your surgery at a program where they are dedicated to the aftercare of their patients, not at a program where they just wanna do the surgery and then there's no support afterwards because the support afterwards is critical for long-term weight loss and long-term success. Surgery is only the starting point. I chose Portsmouth Regional Hospital over Boston because of the reputation of the program. I know it's an accredited program, and I'm so thankful that we had something so much closer to home that I could turn to, and the, the reputation here is just is fantastic, so I didn't feel the need to travel down to Boston to have this surgery. As somebody that has worked as a member of the Massachusetts General Hospital surgery staff and worked in the Boston area for the last 10 years, I can honestly tell you that there are no other services that are offered in Boston than there are that are offered right here on the seacoast. 
as a level one center of excellence in bariatric surgery, we are exactly the same designation as any of the Boston hospitals. We perform exactly the same surgeries. We have the same minimally invasive and robotic techniques, and we have comparable outcomes as proven by the national data. So honestly, unless somebody really has a burning desire to drive down to Boston and struggle with traffic and parking, there really is no need.